fly away. Good morning, my friend. My Gandano Maga, just on my exercise. Part of the exercise, a bit of cardio to start the morning off. Then I'll do a bit of weights. A bit of chores in between. Nice bright sunny day here. Nice start to the day. We are doing our routine. <laughs> Adam is picking the clothes because this is already dry from yesterday. We do things together like this, like one day. We know what we gotta do each day of the week. We have a routine, the only way to live really is a bit of a routine, otherwise you're on a permanent vacation. Yeah. We don't have helper like others, but only because we're still young and we still can do it. Exactly, you don't need help, uh, it's, and it's, it's only it's reassuring. Not reassuring, what's the word? It's rewarding to do it yourself. But doesn't mean that we don't get help in the future. We might it might be when I give up. <laughs> <laughs> there might come a time in life when things get a little bit too difficult, but while you're young, fit and yeah. active, why not? I mean, it's part of life, isn't it? It's kind of exercise at the same time. If you just sit down all day, and you don't really do a lot, then it's fun. It's fun to have time just to relax, but too much fun, too much time to relax, and it becomes a bit of a routine, doesn't it, as well? It's been 72 weeks in this town. We've been so busy since Christmas, and I haven't had time to um, to do some gardening but now that Christmas is over it's New Year and it's nice to go back to routine and the weather is so nice it's not raining anymore <laughs> that's how you call the chicken I don't know where such chicks came from but it's been here since yesterday and <laughs> I think you're gonna have one chick there you go <gasps> come back I don't know they just scared of the camera keratin and um, head massage how much is there? You have to ask. But we can go to Chinatown because um, they have Korean food there and you can eat that because it's just like the sushi. Okay. <laughs> so what's going on? Okay. How about, so I got a um, gift card. Isabella gave me a gift card on my birthday. A gift card? Yeah. Yes. So look. And today is. Is it from a shop, is it? She want, she want me to um, go out with her. So I want to read what is this gift card, so. A day out with Isabella. Oh, okay. A whole day out at the mall, spa, wherever you want with Isabella. Your husband will pay? What? <laughs> Your husband will pay? What? <laughs> <laughs> I will dad pay. Dad will pay. What do you mean, dad will pay? Expensive day for me, and I don't get any fun for it. <laughs> you might cash in the gift card at any time. And you're choosing today? Yes. You're not waiting? Not oh, waiting. There's another room. I got two gift cards. Oh yeah, what's the other one? The other one is free gift card. Isabella will give you a massage for one hour. So that's good. One hour without you your phone? May, How are you going to manage? You may cash <laughs> in at any time. Acupuncture for me? No! What acupuncture <laughs> for me? What? Acupuncture. Acupuncture from me. For yeah, from me. <laughs> no, cut. No, thank you. I don't want the acupuncture. Maybe you can have to work. <laughs> Maybe the massage. I'll take the massage. Does yeah. It have, you have to work two in one day. Um, no. tomorrow, tomorrow. She's in school we'll tomorrow. Just, oh, Back to college. Okay, weekend, weekend. Back to high school tomorrow. It's Bella's last day off school of the oh, Christmas holiday. Know. So, Jane got some gift cards for Christmas. I got some too. Believe it or not. But I'm going to hold on to mine until the time is right. Jane's going to use one today, have a girl's day out with Isabella. My pants are falling down. I've lost weight. I'm not so robust this year now. <laughs> I've been in the gym twice. I'm looking robust these days. Robust no more. Wow, robust. <sighs> clean car. Start the new year the right way with a clean car. Too robust for this. What's that mean? 
fat. <laughs> Somebody call me Bo Buzz. <laughs> Can you believe? Understandable. What do you mean understandable? Somebody call me Bo Buzz. <laughs> understandable. It's been Christmas. It's been holidays, but now 2024 is here and no more robustness. Okay, the out today with Isabella. So, you are gonna be Chauffeur. alone with me. Me and May are gonna get up to some mischief, probably. I think me and May are gonna have a good time. <laughs> Watch some movies, eat some bad food, drink a bit of alcohol. Oh dear. Only joking. We're gonna have a sensible day. Done my gym today already. Try to lose a bit of weight, a bit of shape. Try to enjoy life, but you gotta enjoy life when you're healthy. If you're not healthy, you can't enjoy life. So sometimes you have to do what you don't like to do to do the things you do want to do in life. It's nice to have a cheat day as well. Absolutely, cheat days are great, but it's good to earn them first. Oh my gosh. It was Christmas, everyone loves food, loves yeah, Christmas definitely. food. Getting together with family, friends, so after Christmas, everyone's gain weight. <laughs> yeah. Every time, I gain weight. There you go. Have a good time. Thank you. And you too with the pup. Okay. This is May's idea. This is your idea of taking it easy, is it, May? Some May's in. I'm Buntag, Jane and Isabella having a girls day today so I'm at home alone, well not quite alone, May's there but May's having a bit of a nap at the moment so I'm going to be out in the garden, do a bit of tidying up, start the year the right way, it's 2024 now, big plans for this garden this year, lots of big plans, first one really is to have a bit of a tidy up but take this fence and this gate out, I've already removed the gate from here and it looks better for it but definitely this whole fence needs to come out and be replaced. And into the beds here. It's been a bit of a chaos really. Jane's got so much growing, but it's a little bit unorganized. So these big planters, they're quite useful, but they're difficult because it's hard to get into the middle without stepping on them. So what we're gonna to need to do as the year goes on, replace these with something a bit more easy to manage. But, yeah, I'm going to be busy. They're going to have a nice relaxing girls day and I'm going to be a bit busy outside by myself. Try and tidy this garden up a little bit. Jane's been cutting it the last couple of days and we're trying to redo the whole garden completely. Planters, everything, all aspects of it. Try and make it nice here. Hope I don't destroy any of her plants. Don't tell her. But these sort of things are easy to do, fun to do even. Doesn't take a lot of effort. The sun's gone in for a few minutes, so it's perfect time. Five minutes, 10 minutes, tidy up a little bit here and there. Doesn't take much. And it's nice to enjoy your house, your garden, when it's tidy and clean. I have overeaten a little bit. I have over celebrated a little bit, perhaps. Taking my foot off the pedal, but hey, you live somewhere like this in the Philippines, it's like every day is like a holiday. It's a fantastic feeling waking up here. So yeah, of course you want to try all the food, you want to make the most of it, but life's about balance. You have to balance. Balance your health with having a good time. There are challenges here, living here, even just staying here. There are challenges, of course. And the better condition you are, physically, mentally, easier it is to enjoy yourself in every country of course every country has challenges ups and downs 
not everything's easy in life. Certainly, 2021 became our year. The year we left the UK and we moved to the Philippines permanently. It just happened. We had planned for a long time to make the move. Everything came together. Maybe you have plans to move this year, next year, five years, whenever. Always say is just keep up with your plans, keep adjusting them, keep on top of them, keep dreaming, never give up, never doubt. It will happen. Here they come. Oh! <laughs> you notice anything new about her? Uh, I broke my sunblock. I broke it. Your shoes. <laughs> okay, let's Got go. Got your mango? Yeah, I guess I'm going to have no time. Alright, let's go. As you might see, it's a bit more light here. The Malunga is gone, some of it. To give a bit more space, a bit more light, a bit more nutrients to the Gaibano, it seems to have done okay. We've got a few more leaves come through. We're gonna really try hard to get this tree full of leaves as it once was and full of fruit. This Malunga, look how thick it was. It's been cut, it's been removed. We're left with this big trunk, but it still comes back through, you can see the leaves. And this Gaibano, there is actually still a Gaibano here. We never picked it because it was covered in ants and I think the ants are having a field day with it. 